Yeah, hi guys. So look at this question here. So it's a good question, nice question. Uh, we learn something new in this. Okay. So just uh, try this question for at least uh, two three minutes. Then look at the solution here. This question here says that if the daily compounding rate of interest is ten percent on an in investment, what is the present value of rupees fifty thousand that is to be received after two years? Okay. So now it's the, it's the what do you mean by daily compounding rate of interest, right? So. Uh, I think that uh, most of you would be uh, not aware of this term actually. So let's discuss about this term here. So daily compounding rate of interest is ten percent on an investment. Okay, that means per day, it, the interest rate of interest is actually uh, it would be ten by three sixty five, right? Okay. So for uh, in a year, I'll assume that there are three sixty five days because that's most common. So don't assume three sixty six. Even if you assume that, won't make much difference to my final answer. Very less uh, that percentage change is very less, right? If you assume ten by three sixty five to ten by three sixty six, very less percentage difference here. So daily compounding rate of interest is ten percent on an investment. So per day, the rate of interest is ten by three sixty five. Okay, and for how many days it will be compounded? Right? That's a, that's more important, right? So see, uh, actually, if if I write here, let's say C I is equal to Or the uh, at at the principal uh, this amount just wait a minute the amount here yeah okay so amount here is equal to p into one plus r by hundred raised to n so what is what do you mean by this r and n here it actually means that it is r percent for n n n tenure right it should be it could be years also anything like that for example if I say It is ten percent per annum for two years. So how do we write here, guys? I write here R is equal to ten and N is equal to two. So it is compounding for ten percent for two years. Okay. Then I say, let's say for example, uh, it is five percent per annum for four years. So in that case, I write R is equal to five and N is equal to four. Okay. So now similarly, now in this question, R is ten by three sixty five. So daily it is per day, right? So daily it is ten by three sixty five is the interest. So for what is the tenure for it? So if it daily ten by three sixty five, we want after two years. So for one day it is ten by three sixty five. Okay. So for the other day again it is compounded, right? So again it is again it's like a ten by three sixty five. Okay. So ten by three sixty five it goes on for two years. So in this data, I can write here, for example, ten by three sixty five percent. Now I I'll write here per day now, right? Okay, per day. Okay, for how many days now? It is seven thirty days here. Okay, so that means now R will be equal to ten by three sixty five, and N will be equal to seven thirty. That's the concept, right? Now most of you can say that okay, sir. What 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 if I write R equal to ten by Ah, uh, three sixty-five, and I'll write n equal to two. Now just get this is correct or this is correct, right? Obviously this is correct, this is wrong. What does this mean actually? So ten by three sixty-five percent is, and we're doing for only two tenure, right? Or so only for only for two terms actually you're doing. So ten by three sixty-five percent for two terms, not true, right? Ten percent is per annum for two terms, true. That's fine. Okay, but ten percent is per ten by three sixty-five percent is per. Per uh per day for two tenure not correct right it's for the tenure is seven thirty terms now okay so now in this case what happens now so now amount is so I what actually I want is my interest value is fifty thousand okay so this is my amount I I want okay this I want to be uh received after two what is the present value that I I want to be received after two years so fifty thousand I want to receive after two years so obviously principal would be less so let's keep at this keep this as p Now if we go here one by let's keep r by ten by three sixty five into hundred and then I go for power n power n is what seven thirty is the power here okay so now that's that's the point here so that that's how you solve this question here okay so actually now it's difficult to solve it right obviously it is difficult to solve this right now uh, we will not able to solve this manually so this is a use of what binomial theorem okay so by binomial theorem what happens now. See this by binomial theorem, what will happen? This fifty thousand will be is will be equal to p into now one plus seven thirty c one into one by 
थ्री सिक्स फाइव जीरो टू दी रेस टू वन दिस इज इफ यू कैन सी रेडिस वन बाई थ्री सिक्स फाइव जीरो राइट सो वन बाई थ्री सिक्स फाइव जीरो रेस टू वन ओके नाउ दिस इज वन प्लस दिस इन टू दिस ओके नाउ अगेन प्लस सेवन थर्टी सी टू हाँ इन टू वन बाई थ्री सिक्स फाइव जीरो स्क्वायर करेक्ट एंड दिस गोज ऑन एक्चुअली so actually uh, that's so that's the benefit of an binomial theorem right we don't need to uh, solve all of these actually right because obviously it's it, it will contain 730 terms 730 c1 730 c2 like that it contains 730 terms here okay so i don't need to go in that deep because i know if i if i solve it see guys this is 50000 okay this is p and this becomes 1 plus 730 c1 is 730 That is seven thirty by thirty six fifty. Now, just one more time, you can solve it, right? So, if you solve it here, is seven thirty C two is seven thirty into seven twenty nine by two into three six five zero into three six five zero, and just you can assume that now in the next term will we will be something one by three six five zero cube. Now, one by three six five zero cube is a very very less number. Can act this all can be neglected, right? These are very small number. One by three six five zero cube. Ah, one by three six five zero raised to four. For the in lakhs or something divided by lakhs is almost negligible, right? So we don't need to worry about those numbers here. Okay. So now, if you just observe, observe till here, guys. So you can just see that this is roughly one by five. This is roughly. Uh, this is also roughly one by five. This is roughly one by five only. So one by five is point two, and this is one by twenty five. So you see that. On now only we are very less. The value is very less now. It's one plus zero point two, one plus zero point zero two. It is right. Very very less now. Okay. Can you solve this equation, guys? Okay. So I think the value will become uh one point two two. So one point two two p is equal to fifty thousand. Okay. Therefore, you can just get the value of p from here. Okay. So some uh you can just use maybe calculator. The cat calculator is allowed. Okay. You can just say fifty thousand. Divide by one point two two, and you get the value as something around a forty thousand nine eighty three. Okay, something around forty thousand nine eighty should be the answer for this question. Okay, so that's how it goes, guys. Guys, okay. So this is binomial expansion. So uh, any one of you know don't know what is binomial expansion? It's very simple actually. You are expanding one plus something. You are expanding of the what is what you are expanding here? You're expanding here something one plus x raised to n. Right, one plus x raised to n, where n is seven thirty, x is one. Ah, uh, this ah uh, one by three sixty five, ten by three sixty five. Okay, you just see this binomial expansion. You'll find it any anywhere. Okay, and it's a st st standard. Ah, uh, this ah uh, uh, this uh, value. It is basically it is one plus. Now first term is seven thirty c one, and then you give this second this x you give power one here. Then second term is seven third term is seven thirty c two. Okay, and then you give x power two. Second term is seven thirty c three. Again, you get power three. Like 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 it goes to seven thirty c seven thirty. Okay, and then one by three six five zero raised to four. Sorry, raised to ah uh, three six five seven thirty actually seven thirty. So it's very small. This all can be neglected easily, right? So this is the answer for this question. Okay, so I hope all all of you got this concept. Okay. Okay, and this is the uh, very nice uh, test event, guys. So I always keep telling telling about this combat. Okay, all of you should give this combat a uh, really very very uh, uh, important and uh, new questions are in there. So it's it's very important that before CAT you give so many small tests, right? So one of these tests we have it happens every Sunday twelve p.m. You'll get some new questions in quant, ten new questions in quant. Okay, ten new questions in L L R D I. Similarly, in verbal. So, and this is a live event also. So, basically, after every uh, question you answer, there's a live score card going on. So, it's a fun also, right? It's a fun, good, good competition. Plus, adding these good questions to your question bank. So, in every every Sunday, you're getting some ten new questions in 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 this combat, right? Okay. So, in 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 around ten ten combats, it you can get hundred new questions of quant. Okay. Same hundred new questions of L R D I. So, we have this all this. Tests and solutions with with practice, right? With live grilling of your mind, it's very very important. So do this, this give this combat all of you. It's a free event, completely free. Okay, 
and uh, you can just put the invite code it will ask you just put the invite code Ravi Rodha okay and then you can just give this event and uh, give this test discuss with me uh, in my telegram group what's the problem what the shortcoming we'll discuss about this okay so just give this test on this Sunday 12 p.m. okay I'll put the enrollment link in the description thank you